Kia ora, Waiheke. Welcome to Friday um, at my kitchen and my living room and my office and the hub of the house. Unfortunately, we can't have a proper shared lunch at the Kai Cafe this week, but hopefully soon we'll get back to rescuing the food from the island and preparing it with all our wonderful cooks and wonderful volunteers and um, redistributing it through the community so it doesn't get into landfill. We've been thinking about um, some graphics this week for the Kai Cafe and we particularly like tummy full, not landfill. Anyway, maybe you've got some good ideas for some good catchphrases for the Kai Conscious Cafe. So this week... Um, in week two and a half, or is it three, of lockdown, uh, my family have been doing a lot of cooking. So I've got a beautiful cheesecake, which I don't want to tip over. Absolutely delicious, made by Daniel. Um, Jack has been making chocolate chip cookies. Um, ran out of butter, so I used coconut for those ones. And um, my family did want me to note that I have growing the world's smallest watermelon. Um, not enough water this year for that. I'll have to do better next year. So it's also the week that, uh, the week, the past week's Waiheke Resources Trust have been making a lot of online content. And some of you may have seen um, that Compost & Co. Prashanti has made a wonderful video on making EM, which can be a product that you'll use instead of Zing for your Bokashi. So have a look for that one. Also, we've got a moth plant pod competition running. Um, get out into your gardens, your hedge lines, see what's growing up through your trees and make sure it's not a nasty moth plant. So the pods look a little bit like chocos. We've got a video on how you can identify them. And if you can pick them, take a photo, then you'll be in to win some wonderful products from the... Um, local businesses from the island. So, <clears throat> composting videos, uh, weed videos, looking after your septic tank videos are online, plus cooking videos. So if you make any of the dishes, like Friday night soup, refried beans, some of Eddie's wonderful cashew nut cream, um, smoothies, please take a photo, let us know. Tell us how it went. I do find it very difficult writing down recipes with exact amounts because the nature of rescue food and what we do at the Kai Conscious Cafe is that we never know what we're going to get. We have to ad lib constantly and we don't use recipes because we can't. So it's difficult for me to put exact amounts so I'd very, really love your feedback on the recipes I'd have already put out there. Another thing is um, you know, it can be difficult in these days, particularly if you're by yourself or you're feeling quite frustrated because usually you're used to getting up at a certain time, going to work, being with other people, feeling very useful in whatever you do and being part of a work social space. So I want to say that we're awfully lucky on the sign because we have a group of volunteers, at least 200 of them, who are here to help. If you need someone to shop for you, if you need your guttering cleaned out, if you need someone to talk to. So the number for that is 09 889 7661. So 09 889 7661. Ring them up or perhaps um, tell your neighbour about them from a safe distance, of course, and let them know they're there to help. And we're so lucky to be on an island where other people are caring for other people. So, um, we've covered the moth plant. We've covered the fact that, oh, budgeting, by the way, is also picking up rescue food at the moment and distributing on Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, and that's at certain times in the day, on Fridays it's between 1 and 2, but give budgeting a call uh, if you are finding it difficult to make ends meet. We are all in this together and we really have to help each other. Right, what else can I say except to um, perhaps have a little bit of that cheesecake and to hear back from you and see how you're doing. 
So from us at Waiheke Resources Trust and Kai Conscious Waiheke, um, from the Project Lonnie Roa, from Compost and Co, I wish everybody very, very well. And may you find the um, sounds of the birds in the morning and the fact that we live in such a beautiful place comforting at this time. Keep well.